Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the COVID Report with Susan Lindauer uh, and my guest today, Al Fatah. And we're talking about the Citizens Committee to Investigate Benghazi. And I can tell you don't like them. But at the same time, they did release a pretty good report this week. They, they did some, they released a preliminary, uh, not a preliminary, but an, you know, a briefing paper. And it sounded pretty good. I mean, I have to tell you that it, I, I was impressed. And it was, it was comprehensive. And they were pretty, they were harsh. And what impressed me about them was that they were harshly critical of Obama's advanced knowledge of the identities of these terrorists. And they made it clear that the whole time that Obama was starting, from the very opening days of this war, Obama recognized and had full comprehension of the identities and the the, the ideological beliefs of the people that we were we were sending in and they did it deliberately and knowingly and stupidly it was one of the worst stupidest things we've done but the the the, the citizens committee was very harsh about that okay uh let me now, i know a, you don't like them but no no, no. But, I, it has nothing to do if i like or i don't like but if you go into their blog uh of the uh, citizens whatever their name is they have an agenda. Their agenda is either they, maybe they don't like Obama or they have an Islamophobia reasons or whatever. Their main goal is to clean up the mess of the CIA. That is the first main goal. Second goal is to discredit Obama and his administration. Thirdly, uh, please explain to me how these people have never been in Benghazi, never been in the annex or in that place surrounding. They knew every stone, every single bar, uh, iron bar or whatever was surrounding that place. And when I, I asked them, how do you know that? I, I, have you been there? They said, no, we've never been there. And I said, how do you know then? I, how do you have this information? Even the satellite can't give you so clear uh, evidence. Even a drone, uh, you'll have to bring a drone down, very down to see uh, every single room. So these people have been working. Yes, they did find out some things. They had to bring out some, um, let's say, uh, a scapegoat Africom, a scapegoat is Obama, a scapegoat... As long as the CIA is clean and out of the woods. It has nothing to do uh, with what I believe or I don't believe. It has to do to clean up the mess that CIA left. I regard that as a failure of the CIA, though, that they allowed this agenda to take root. I mean, my God, what a failure. That's a policy failure. Yes, the unfortunate thing is that when they did try to contact me and to get more information because they knew I know some witnesses, they wanted to get some more names. And I, I uh, once I found out that the, the guy that I was killed, I refused to mention any other names because they have families, children. Um, uh, since then, I understood the whole game. It wasn't just to, 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 to exonerate, uh, Stevens or whether he was in, uh, uh, arming the, the jihadists in, in Syria or not or whether, uh, I mean, it came to a point that the woman was telling me, no, 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 he had no, uh, no connection with arms dealing. And I said, for God's sake, we know we have contracts and signatures of Stevens signing off the arms deals. What are you talking about? So, uh, the citizens of, of the Benghazi, it, 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 it's just a front. It's just a front. They have an agenda. It, everybody has an agenda. I have an agenda. I have an agenda that I want my country to be free. But that doesn't mean that I will kill people just to get my country free. No, that's I will right. I to to dismantle you 
for the sake of the truth. If I'm coming out with the truth, I'm coming out always with documents in my hand. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is and this. I am saying that I believe that when I blurted that name, that this um, uh, committee had something to do with this person's death. That is what I believe. I don't believe so much in coincidences anymore. I used to be naive, but not anymore. So uh, I believe that I, I have blood in my hands. Without me, uh, uh, it, it was not in my intentions. Let's put it this way. It was not in my intentions to have anybody killed. Whether he was a jihadist or not, it was not in my intentions. He was a Libyan. Yeah, you are pro-Libyan. That is your, that is your mantle. That is, you, that is your loyalty is to so, your country and uh, to your people. Committee or not, they can make a thousand of committees. They may have the best intentions, but each committee has its own agenda. And the agenda is to try to infiltrate either into the tribes, which is impossible because the New World Order, what it wants, it wants to get rid of the tribes whether that's in Libya or in Yemen or in, uh, in uh, Syria or in uh, Iraq or anywhere else. But uh, the Libyan tribes, it is very difficult uh, mounting to impossible to infiltrate the Libyan tribes. No one has succeeded. Well, you said that Deborah Jones is trying to eradicate them and try to trying to. to she's to, tried. She's tried. She's even tried to meet them, but they refuse to meet her because she 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 thinks that Libyans are idiots and they are not educated enough and they cannot control their own country. That is what she thinks. She's such an idiot and a bigot that uh, she believes that America, high power, uh, uh, intellectually. That they are the ones who, who can, uh, free the countries, bring dictatorship to each country when it suits them, or a democracy to when it suits them. This is not life. This is, uh, this is how she's been brought up. I remember when yes. I was at an American school in Libya at the time in 1972, I would come home to my parents and I would say, we need to save the world because I was being ta taught by Americans. This is what they teach the, uh, your children. Yes. That the Americans have to save the world. Well, I'm sorry, America. You're not Alexander the Great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Obama <laughs> is certainly <laughs> not Alexander the Great. <laughs> Alexander the Great never invaded a country. When it entered the country, it came with peace. When it fought, it fought and killed only the people who were uh, not accepting the, uh, accepting the, 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 the right way, which at that time could have been wrong. Who knows? But it, uh, it's not, uh, I mean, well, that's, that's right. Conquest, conquest uh, in, in the Persian Empire, conquest in Alexander's Empire was about Rome as well. They would they would subjugate, but they would but it would they would bring you under the yoke of their control. But then they would give back power. They would exactly. not try to take to destroy the people who were there. They would just turn them to their loyal. Like you have to pay a tithe, you have to exactly. pay a tax. Exactly. And then so, they would try to force them to be allies. Uh, America they would reward them for giving alliances to Rome. I mean, America for for the God's sake. Libya uh, is about thousands of miles away. What, what in the name of God security risk was Libya to America? The only, the, what, what it was was the banking structure, the Rothschild banking structure. Um, the Libyans wanted to have a gold-backed currency and an African current, uh, an African euro. Yes, I know. I know. Would go I up know. against the but euro, and and that is what it was. The what, euro was so what, fragile and so weak that they were terrified that Africa would discover its true power and the true. Because imagine an African euro, an African excuse me, an African dinar, backed by 
gold, diamonds, precious minerals, uh, vast wealth of you know resources that America, of you, Africa, it would be know, a spectacular currency. Susan, and Europe you, has nothing backing it up. You know that um, uh, in 2011, America stole most of the gold of, of Libya. Yes. Okay. You know that the CIA is still helping the Libyan terrorists. Yes. Okay. Now, U.S. is trying to dictate uh, how any other country should run its culture and everything. Uh, and that cannot dictate in its own country. I mean, it doesn't look in its own backyard that it has a big, bigger problem. I don't know how many homeless people there are. I don't know how many Afro-Americans are having a, the biggest problem of racial... Uh, uh, and Racial post- tensions policy. across the United States are epidemic and okay. soaring. And the, the and middle the class has been destroyed. We used to be in the middle class, and now it's all gone. Okay, so they're not looking... Uh, I don't know what your government believes, and I couldn't give a shit about your government, actually. Sorry, my language. But uh, they should look at their own backyard and leave the other countries to breathe. They're not, uh, and I'm saying again, they are not at the Alexander the Great. And they don't, and this empire, the American empire that she wants to become an empire, will will lose. And it will be Libya who will make her lose. That's true. I, I think you're right. I think I think that where where I want to the, the one thing I want to everything you said about the citizens committee may be true. All, you know, you you have identified very precisely what their agenda is, and I would just say though that up. some of their research is really quite outstanding. You can look it up. And it under- is, but it is outstanding research. They do have an agenda. <laughs> Yes. Which is, you know, but it, but their research is 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 appears to be excellent Sweetheart, quality. The research, the research, they took it from bloggers, and they they took pieces from the bloggers, and then they pieced everything together. That is what they did. Well, th- that's okay. At least they're being honest and taking the research from the bloggers. So often the CIA refuses to deal with reality and invents, you know, is more interested in destroying the bloggers than in recognizing the truth that we're bringing oh, to them. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're, they're trying to destroy us. Don't worry about that. Oh, they're, I- <laughs> they're trying. Yes. They're- Fine. They're they're fine. They're doing they're do they're they're up to their old tricks. So I'm glad to hear the CIA hasn't changed that much. No, I, I still call them psychopaths, and they still call me a crazy old lady. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> I'd rather be a crazy old lady than a psychopath, baby. Okay, now the uh the, the this committee knows a lot more, but does not want to release it. There is enough documents to charge obama with treason oh yes definitely definitely and i will tell you something i am convinced that in 2016 hillary will pay for libya oh she will i I really think that that across the united states she will face it here's where my agenda comes in i have an agenda to destroy obama and to destroy um, Clinton, and not by guns or by assassinating them for uh, not on that way. Yeah, no violence <laughs> no, no. through my blog and through documents that I have, and I'm receiving a pile of them every day. Yes, yes, you do. That's right. Well, I think that I think that uh, Hillary will have a very I mean, just I'm not saying this apologetically or sadly. I think that the reality is that Hillary Clinton is a uh, a, a damaged goods because of Libya and the whole Arab Spring. Oh, she's a Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, but, but how? How could not, anyone do that? I mean, it, it's just I, I, I am baffled again. I, you know, it's my own government that's doing this crazy stuff, and everyone says.